are some issues that I've learned in my 11 years at the state capitol. And that is some of the bills that get made and put forth in the media are not very accurate. What you just heard Tito say was transparency, sunshine law. Why is it that our state legislature does not have it applicable to them? See, I see if Tito, Rep Pine, and myself were elected as a trifecta for this community, we would be advocating for the sunshine law. Otherwise, it's not being discussed. What is the sunshine law? Let's take Senate Bill 2402. Two, three-fifths of our district pays a maintenance fee. You pay a maintenance fee to your homeowner association, whether you're having a condo or a townhome. My opponent voted for that bill to come up with a brand new tax, a maintenance fee tax. Senate Bill 2402 came up in a committee hearing where the public couldn't weigh in. Why? Because on March 30th, the bill, Senate Bill 2402, was amended in the Finance Committee, House Draft 1. That's where they snuck in, stuck in, the maintenance fee tax measure. So all those in the property management industry didn't know what hit them. So after March 30th, Representative Pine and myself, utilizing her office, did a press release, made a YouTube of the debate, and contacted the property management companies throughout the state. On April 6th, a vote was taken where Rep. Cabanilla didn't care. She still voted for the maintenance fee tax. We worked so hard to apprise you homeowners that the last thing you want to do to the homeless who are telling you the major problem for them are high rents. You may have just seen the Hawaii Reporter, State of Hawaii, highest, rent, highest rents in the nation. Why would you want to then compound that? That's why I'm running. What we have here is a letter to the editor that just is spot on, nails it. This was in response to Rep. Cabanilla getting all this TV time as if she was concerned about the plight of the homeless and knew what she was doing, when in actuality, she just doesn't get it and is out of touch. In the letter, I quote here, when the politicians were told by the homeless that rents were too high and the cost of housing was the cause of their predicament, these legislators added fuel to the fire by advocating that condominium and townhome owners should pay a new tax on their maintenance fees. This vote on Senate Bill 2402 on April April 6 was a vote to favor taxing maintenance fees that in turn owners would pass on to their renters. If legislators want to help the homeless, they would never have drummed up the housing tax that exacerbates the problem. Came up with the proposal to help make up the revenue loss with a maintenance fee tax. Imagine folks if you just merely live in a townhome or a condominium complex on your common expenses you hooey up, you put all your money on the table here. They wanted to tax it from changing one hand to the next. It's called double taxation. This is just a fund that's put in a, in a reserve fund for future use for the maintenance of a condominium. So it has, makes no sense at all to tax that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, in support of the measure. Please proceed. Uh, as an owner of condominiums as well as, as planned community uh, properties, I do, I'm very aware of what are being charged on those maintenance fees. There's a whole lot of services that are included in those maintenance fees. First and foremost, Mr. Speaker, are legal fees. Also, landscaping fees and paving fees. And I believe that those services need to be taxed. The concept, the mindset of why I chose to run was to counter that. So that you get the clarity, you get the truth, and you get transparency. With term limits, the people who get elected are not in it for themselves. They get in, they get the job done on behalf of the people, and get out. Get the new blood in, so that one isn't beholden to their donors. With that said, 11 years, six of my years were for State Senator Will Sparrow. I was his office manager. Three years for State Representative Rita Cabanilla, my opponent. I was her office manager for three years, the last two years with Rep Pine. With that said, I am so happy to be here. I have a website. Would like you to entertain and consider my candidacy, Mahalo.